Welcome guys, welcome back to Ray's Art and Tech Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five things you, you probably didn't know about your Chromebook. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, please like and subscribe on all of my videos. Please. I'm trying to get up to around 50 subscribers. So that will really help out if you guys subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is going to be new desk now i know most people do not use this because it's not really something you have to use it's not a necessity but you go up here see i already have all the desks you know, the max is four so if you take off one you'll have um threes and you know you know how math works but you press Plus new desk and this like Linux. Um, if you go on Gallium OS, it's almost like that. But instead, you have four desks, and on Gallium OS you have two. So you know that's one of the cool things. That's one of the least cool uh, cool things. But I mean, let's just go ahead and get started. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our, um, beta channel. How this works is you go to about Chrome OS. And you do additional details. Now, you see on currently on stable. That's the channel. And it says update schedule and build details, all that stuff. Now, how this works is if you change to, uh, if you keep on a stable channel, you don't, you, you wait like everybody else for uh, new version updates and you barely experience bugs. Now, what I'm on or I used to be on, but I reset my computer. I used to be on beta. And I'm about to change it now, but I can't change it during this time because if I do, it's going to restart my computer and I can't record. So I'm not going to do that right now, but trust me on this. So if you, if you do beta, how beta works is you're basically like a developer you or a, a, a new version tester. You're a version tester. So how this works is you get all the bugs before everyone does. You get all the new stuff before everyone does and you even get um you even get new updates before everyone i don't know if i already said that but yeah so um you can you can change the the beta and if you change to unstable you still are a developer make sure you listen to me do not Go and develop on stable just because it's a developer does not mean you're on developer mode. You still have to go into into the um that that white screen that says OS verification off. You, you change it there, that's not going to mean anything. All you're going to have, and you're still going to be waiting like everybody else for the um the new version is in. It's going to be really slow and that type of stuff. So I mean that was that was beta channel. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Next one is Chrome Flags. Now, you see right here, this is Chrome Flags. Now, before you guys want to search this up, make sure you pay attention to the URL because if you don't put in the right URL, it's not gonna work. There's a specific URL for uh, Chrome Flags. And what you can do with Chrome Flags, you can, you see, you can override the built-in software you can enable GPU acceleration or unsupported system configurations. You know, you could accelerate to the canvas. You can do a lot of stuff. You know, GPU acceleration where it makes, uh, like, battle royale games on the browser faster. That type of stuff. If you have a lot of stuff on here, you can go through it yourself. See if there's anything you like on here. And just make sure there's one rule. Make sure you put in the right URL. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one. The next one is going to be ambient mode. So how ambient mode is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, go to here. And how ambient mode is, it's basically like on a Chromecast where if you're not there, it's just going to show a gallery of photos. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm not going to be able to turn it on for you guys because it's going to make me, um, so what, sorry. Just make you have to uh, just put in ambient mode and see enable ambient mode to show an uh, enhanced lock screen with more functions. So you, uh, if you first turn on your Chromebook, you don't mess with anything, 
you'll all you'll see is a picture. Now, as soon as you move your mouse or a uh, touchpad, it, it'll bring up the little um, sign-in screen or login screen. But if you don't move anything, you can just uh, take a minute to just look at all the beautiful pictures they have have on there, and that's all you have to do. You just you enable ambient mode. You press on here, enable, and then you go over here. You go to personalization, and then you should see uh, it's either on search and assistant right here, or you see it up in personalization. So you know, I mean, that's that's one of them. Now, this one was I like I didn't even do any searching up on this. All I did was I, um, my computer was messing up, I didn't have much space, and I used this app named Recovery Disk. And how this works is you get like an SD card, and you just put it in and it makes it as a recovery disk. Now what I didn't know was, I was I used a 15 gigabyte um, a recovery media. And when I put that in to recover my Chromebook, it literally gave me the amount of space that was on my SD card. So I've, I've only tried 15 gigabytes, but you can try larger. So it says you'll need a four gigabyte or larger USB flash drive or SD card that you don't mind erasing. And yeah, so I mean, I will make a video if I'm able to find a SD card that is like 125 gigabytes on there or, you know, anything higher than... The 15 and if I can get that to work you might possibly be able to have like a terabyte of a storage on your Chromebook depending on if you can find that uh, find the SD card that big so you can try that yourself one thing about this is that if you're gonna do this you need to uh, it's not in the Play Store so don't try it on the Play Store you have to uh, yeah you have to yeah see it's an actual app in the extensions but it's gonna make it an app inside of your app drawer so I will put the links to all of these. I will even put the um I, I can't put the link to Chrome Flags, but I will put um just like I'll space it out just so you guys put it in yourself because I don't know if it's gonna work like that. Uh, but you you you'll see a link in there just to press on if I can able to get it. But if I can't, then you'll just see um like all of the digits spaced out. So that's uh, one of and the last one. Okay, guys, that will be it for this video. I'm we'll make another video for you know the expand space, but remember, guys, subscribe and like on all of my videos, and please make sure I can get up to at least a 50 subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time.